Cliff, we would cliff jump or we would like uh, mountain climb again, like you know. So that's how we play here in the in the farm. Hey, it's me again, Ruby Beauty. In today's vlog will be a different kind of vlog because, as you all know already, I am here in the province, and uh, this province is in Tarlac, one of the provinces I have lived, and this is where I live the most of my life. Um, there is really nothing to see here. It's just normal. It's just a normal region. No, there, it's just plain. There is no mountains. It's not a mountainous region. It's there's no beach. But the life here is the simplest that I have ever experienced my whole life. And um, the most fun and most adventurous childhood experiences that I have happened here. And there's a lot. So um, this province is just the most special to me. This is the most special place to me because I have my sister here, I have my, uh, my father, I have all my, my childhood friends, my nephew. But in today's video guys, I just want to show you the normal life that I have when I am here in the province. And that includes hanging out and playing with my nephew, hang out with my friends, with my sister and with my dad and uh, doing provincial things. So let's go and start the day. First thing to do in the morning is cook for our breakfast. And I am going to cook here. Yes, here. My dad made this two wood burning stove or pugon in Filipino language. So my father used to collect these woods from the branches of the trees around our house. He would cut the big branches and lay them all under the sun to dry. When these woods have dried up, he would chop them in small pieces so we can easily burn it. It will be potato omelette. This is just one of everyone's favorite breakfasts in the province. Aside from it's cheap, it's also very nutritious. My father is very obsessed in living very simple. He is teaching us in this way so we would stick our feet to the ground. I think that is the best lesson I can get from this kind of life. And I am loving it. It just makes the life very slow. It almost feels a little bit like I'm in the ancient times. Do you always eat oatmeal in the morning? Sometimes. Sometimes. After eating, I am going to wash the dishes in the pump. This is how we get our water. We had an automatic water pump before, but it used to break, so my father just stopped using it and uninstall everything so we can just pump manually whenever we need water. Okay, so breakfast is done. Dishes are done. Usually we would do household chores before we play or before we hang out. But the other things will be done by my sister. So let's go and hang out with my nephew. My nephew has been telling me all about this thing that they would play with his playmates. And the name of this is Palsuot. That is an Ilocano term. I don't know if there is any Tagalog term for this or an English term, but this is just a piece of bamboo and we use a wet paper as a bullet. Right? Uh, I 
So the technique is once you already have here the paper, make sure to cover the the hole. And my nephew said, don't let the pressure come out. So you have to not push the paper forward. Just do like this, just like that. Point, point it, and then push right away. Point the stick and then push right away. <laughs> Enough for the playing, it's time to prepare for lunch. My father bought different kinds of vegetables so we can cook pinak bet. Pinakbet is an indigenous Filipino dish from the northern regions of the Philippines. Pinakbet is made from mixed vegetables sautéed in fish or shrimp sauce, but this time we would use a fish sauce, or also known as bagoong. The word pinakbet is contracted form of the Ilocano word pinakebet, shrunk vegetables or shriveled vegetables. Okay, eating time again. Yes, this is a province life routine. We always see to it that we are done cooking and eating before 1 p.m. because that is the hottest time of the day and everyone just wants to finish all the chores before noon time so they can just rest and avoid moving to prevent themselves from sweating. <laughs> Let's not 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 My nephew was annoying me since morning to take a bath in the ground like a normal kid in the province do. Actually, not only the kids, but even adults in the provinces. This is how they take a bath. So first, we are going to fetch water from the pump and make the basin full. People in the province take a bath like this with clothes on. Personally, I didn't get used to taking shower like this, but as a kid, I did this. This is just one of the funniest things to do with our friends when we were kids.
Since it's already noon and the sun is strong and it's just very hard to go outside, most people will just stay inside their houses to sleep. We call it siesta time. Okay, snack time, or in the Philippines we call it merienda time. When the sun is not that strong anymore, people would usually go out of their houses again. And for us, we are going to buy fish balls. And now I'm going to visit my friend to have a walk in the rice field. Hello guys, so today I am going to show you one of the best place here in my province because um, this, is very un this place is very unforgettable to me. There's a lot of things that happened here. So um, this is a rice field as you can see. It's where I... Uh, this is our playground, me and my friends. I remember one time, you know, um, when there is no rice plants, when they just harvested it, the owners usually um, stock their haze in one place and like it it will create a hill you know and in the middle of that stock of that hay stock there is they will re reinforce it with a post with a stick a bamboo stick uh, they will tie a rope in it and then let the the rope hang and what we would do is we would play around that hay we will do a mountain climbing like all of us 20 children, that is what we do. And then I remember one time, one day when we did that, it's like around 5 p.m. I think, like around this hour. So the owner saw us doing that. And then what he did is he got really mad. He got really angry. So what he did is he chased us, he chased us all. And we dispersed. We were so scared. So we ran away. The others went there, the others went there, the others went there and there why we got scared because he is chasing us with a with a bolo you know like a, a, a big knife they used to to chop woods we got scared and we ran all over the place 
because we were kids we don't know but when we think about it now it's like we're really laughing at it and it's so funny because it's like oh my gosh what did we do <laughs> it's it's really funny so we used to like hike also here we just walk here around walk until there we don't know what place we we go to we just walk and then when we see fruits on the side of the build we are going to get some fruits and then eat it there or we take it home and then sometimes like here there is a drainage system this is a drainage system here this is a drainage system to this is to to water the rice field yeah so what, what we did before, when we were young, every time they excavate this, um, this area, this drainage, it becomes really a little bit deep, a little bit deep. And then on what we would do is like play on the sides, like, or, like we make it cliff. We would cliff jump or we would like uh, mountain climb again, like, you know. So that's how we play here in the, in the farm. This is our playground when we were small, when we were kids. And this drainage system. Actually, this drainage system, it was here already since, I don't know, 50 years ago, I think, because our parents were here before also. They used to like um, to swim there when there's water because the, they said that the water is really, really clean. They used to wash their clothes there and um i don't know they they catch fish but now not anymore because when there's water here it's really really dirty like there's pig poop and human poop and everything <laughs> See, po so yeah i am so happy to be back here every time we go here with my friends now that we are grown up we used to remember those times and it just make us laugh. It just make us really, really um, miss those times and reminisce. It just really makes us, just really makes us reminisce really fun. And you know what, as a kid, that time here, there's really, really no problem. We don't think about any problems. We just think about where are we going to play? Where are we going? Because before, you know what? As you can see now, there's a lot of houses here. It's a residential area now. They divided the farm now. It's, just, it's not a lot of um, rice plants anymore. It's not a lot of area for planting anymore because they are converting everything into residen residential area. It's just sad that everything's, that everywhere you look at now, there's like houses but I know it's needed, but it's just sad that um, our playground as a kid will eventually be gone. That's about it, guys. So I am glad to share this, um, this small happiness inside me. Okay, so the sun is setting. It's almost dinner time. So we should uh, head back to our homes and prepare for dinner. That is uh, the normal, the typical province life routine. So, time to go home! The people are drunk again. The neighbors are drunk again. Oh, no, I did. It will remove not tomorrow. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night, Say. guys. See you night, guys. Good night, guys. See you in my next vlog. See you in my next vlog. <laughs> good night, guys. See you in my next vlog.